We are back with another episode of The Short Circuit. I am Kate Constable, joined today by Mark Mitchell out of Kansas. Mark, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. What have you been doing to stay busy? I know you just had an online class that you just finished up. How's school going? Yeah, um, it's pretty It's pretty easy. I mean, it's easier than being at school because they can't give you as much work and things like that. But uh, I've liked it. Um, I've just gotten back in the gym because our gyms are starting to like open up some of them. So just been doing that. And, yeah. And what have your workouts been like now that you're getting back into the gym? Um, just a lot of shooting. Um, like I've been like playing basketball, but it's been outside a lot. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've been trying to like play against people since I haven't been able to do that. You know, uh, you want to be competitive if you're working on something for a long time. So, right. Uh, and how have you stayed in shape, um, like conditioning wise? You've been going on runs, doing sprints on a track. Uh, yeah, I go to the track probably like once or twice a week. Um, I've been trying to work on my body a lot too. So since I've had a lot of free time. So. And um, you're in, in Kansas, from Kansas. So you play for uh, KC Run GMC with the Under Armour circuit. Um, and you were set for another season with them. Mm -hmm. What were you most looking forward to about that season? Um, Just getting to like play in front of college coaches and different people. Because I didn't really get to play last year. Mm -hmm. So I had a, a knee injury. And it kind of like. The, the timing of it was not good for me playing. So, um, yeah, just wanting to play and get out and play with my guys because I didn't really get too much last year. So, yeah. And you're fully healed from this knee injury? Oh, yeah. I was only out for, like, a couple weeks. But the couple weeks, like, started at the beginning of the live period and ended. Like, it just was, like, not good timing. Yeah. Well, yeah. And now another summer of not great timing for you. Um, but I know you've yeah. received some interest from um, a number of schools and um, Kansas and Missouri, especially uh, as yeah. a five star recruit, top player in the state. Um, a lot of coaches probably assume that you might be staying in state and going to one of those schools. Is your recruitment mm -hmm. still open? Yeah, it's very open. I'm not I'm not focused on one school at all. Um Obviously, I love having interest in those schools, but um, yeah, my recruitment's 100% open. Uh, what kind of schools have been reaching out to your coaches or a either AAU or high school coaches in regard to just having interest in you? Um, obviously, Kansas, Mizzou. I got off from Arkansas yesterday. Um, I talked to North Carolina a couple weeks ago. Um, K-State came to practice. Wake Forest came to open gym a while ago. Um, yeah, just a couple more. Yeah. Like and that. you've those schools specifically really stand out and excite you? Um, I th I'm, I'm not really thinking about it like that. Just trying to take my time and, like, see what every school has to offer, which is, would be the best fit to me going forward. Who have you not heard from yet that you want to hear from? Um, obviously, like, Kentucky, probably. Um, I think that's, like, the only school that I can really, like, think of that I want to hear from, maybe. I've heard from UCLA and Oklahoma State, schools like that. So, yeah, I think that's the only one. You've got quite a few schools covered, so I think you'll be in good hands when it comes time to make your decision. Yeah. Uh, and you played for the USA Basketball Junior National Team, um, done mm -hmm. some mini camps with them. What did you take away from those experiences? Um, it's always a pretty good experience going out there, you know having to learn how to play with other great players, you know, because you're not always the guy and it's a little different. So just like seeing what you can work on, playing against better competition and learning where you can fit as if you were like in the NBA playing with a whole bunch of guys who were like five stars and four stars in high school because you won't always be the guy. So just figuring out what you can do at all times on the court and how you can impact the game even when you don't have the ball. It's so pretty mm -hmm. good. And yeah, playing with such great talent in those camps. And then again, um, for your grassroots team, what separates the Under Armour circuit from other grassroots basketball programs or circuits out there? I think it's just the competition levels, good every game and um, playing for all the college coaches in the country is um, you can attract them from anywhere. So it's pretty good. And um, they really take care of us over there with like Curry Camp and going to IMG and just it's really a family, more of a family, because it's not as big as UIBL, so we kind of all know each other, you know who the top guys are in the circuit. I know growing up you were involved in track 
Um, you mm. won a AU Junior Olympics in 2014. Do you still participate mm. in track? I don't. I would, but like the um, schedule conflict with basketball kind of like in the summertime just kind of collided too much. So I like stopped doing it once I got to high school. How do you think growing up participating in track helped you become a better basketball player? Because you were a long jumper, uh, right? Mm, yeah, but I ran too. I was pretty good okay. in that, but long jump was like what I was best at. But I think it helped a lot just being so tall and I know how to like move and accelerate and um, I use my body in different ways that some tall guys don't. So like, I think I'm pretty athletic and made me a lot more athletic, know how to jump, move, accelerate, things like that. There's some guys this tall don't really know how to do. So yeah. being that tall and having that agility and movement uh, mm -hmm. makes you a big threat out on the wing. What would you like to add to your game or where do you think you need to improve on? Um, I think shooting is definitely what I want to improve on the most. It's definitely gotten a lot better. Like I can like make a lot more shots than I used to be able to, but I think just getting that more consistent is definitely what I really want to try to work on. And in the last couple of days, there's been quite a bit of chatter on Twitter. Everyone's posting their top 10 players of all time list. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you're a big Kobe fan. And Kobe hasn't made the top 10 in a couple of those or is ranked nine in some. I saw him two other places. Where does he land on your list? Um, I think he's number three on mine. I, I did go LeBron, Jordan, Kobe. And I guess I really didn't see Jordan, but I guess he should be number two, so I'll put him there. <laughs> but, yeah, that's my top three. Right there. Um, what influence did Kobe or does he have on your game? Um, a big influence just as me playing basketball, period. Like, he really inspired me. Like, he did a whole bunch of other people. As you can see, like, when he died, it really affected a lot of us because, you know, like, seeing him play inspired us to try to be just somewhat like him, you know, just carry on his legacy. In what ways have you tried to mimic his work ethic? Um, yeah, um, I've really never had a like, problem with like, working hard. But, like he definitely pushed it to another level, just seeing how hard he worked and uh, how dedicated he was and the little details he just mastered in his game. I try to do the same thing with mine and uh, get better every day. So you said you um, didn't really grow up watching Jordan a ton because, I mean – you might not even been, you probably weren't even born when he was around playing. So have you been watching The Last Dance? I have. I've watched every episode so far. So what do you think of him after uh, getting kind of a behind the scenes peek at his career? Oh, uh, it's pretty cool. I, I knew he was like big time. I didn't know he was so famous. Well, obviously I knew, but like I, I wasn't. It's cool just seeing like what it was like back then and having an insight to that because I wasn't around back then. So I just hear things and seeing it is a little different thing. Right. I totally agree. I was around when he was playing, but, you know, kind of seeing the behind the scenes and hearing all the interviews mm. from people that have covered him has been pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that is all we have for you. Thank you so much for joining us today and best mm. of luck finishing up school and hopefully um, getting out in the court sometime this summer. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for having me.